The Jeddah Tower will be the first tower in history to rise more than a kilometer in height once its construction finishes. It joins the ranks of the world's most dizzying and impressive skyscrapers, such as the twin Petronas Towers in Kuala Lumpur or the Burj Khalifa Tower in Dubai, which is currently the tallest structure in the world, reaching a height of 828 meters. In fact, the Jeddah Tower was designed by American architect Adrian Smith, to whom we owe the latter's prodigious achievement. Hey, everyone! Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to go over everything you need to know about Jeddah Tower. So without further ado, let's get into it. Jeddah is the capital city of Saudi Arabia, with a population of about 4 million people as of 2017. It is also 65 kilometers east of Mecca and 360 kilometers north of Medina. Prior to World War II, Jeddah's economy was based on fishing and pilgrimage. Following that, it was able to expand and modernize thanks to Saudi Arabia's wealth from oil royalties. The economy also expanded to include oil refineries, steel rolling mills, clothing, pottery, and even cement manufacturing. The city of Jeddah has several amazing attractions and beautiful places to visit, but the main highlight, once completed, will be the Jeddah Tower. Originally known as the Kingdom Tower and Mile High Tower, it is expected to be the world's first one kilometer tall building, as well as the tallest building, though the exact height is being kept secret while it is still under construction. However, it will surpass the height of the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. The developers believe that the Jeddah Tower will transform the entire area, which has long served as a gateway to the holy cities of Medina and Mecca. The construction of Jeddah Tower began in 2013, but there have been a few setbacks along the way. However, it is still expected to be the crown jewel of Jeddah Economic City, a 5.3 million square meter residential and commercial project that will house luxury homes, hotels, and offices, as well as tourist attractions. The Jeddah Tower, which will stand 252 stories tall and have a gross floor area of 243,866 square meters, will also have the world's highest observation deck at 664 meters above ground, as well as a 500 square meter outdoor platform. The Jeddah Tower will feature a five-star Four Seasons Hotel as one of its highlights, as well as 97 affiliated service departments, including seven duplexes. There will be offices on seven floors and 325 apartments on four residential tiers. The elevators in the Jeddah Tower will reach a record height of 660 meters, and there will be double-decker lights that will transport visitors directly to the observation deck from the first level at speeds of up to 12.5 miles per hour. The design of the Jeddah Tower. The construction is intended to grow into a new Jeddah district. The development of infrastructure required to support the city will be the second phase of the project, with the third phase yet to be revealed. Adrian Smith's company, ASNGG, competed in a design competition against eight other prominent architectural firms, including Cone Pedersen Fox, Pickard Chilton, Foster and Partners, and Pelly Clark Pelly. Smith has also designed the Trump International Hotel Tower in Chicago, the Jean Mao Tower in Shanghai, and the Zifeng in Nanjing, China, in addition to the Burj Khalifa. And all four of these structures are among the top 11 tallest in the world. The building's design has been praised for being bold, brilliantly sculpted, high-tech, yet simple and feasible. The building's estimated cost is nearly 1.23 billion US dollars, which is slightly less than the cost of the Burj Khalifa. Construction of Jeddah Tower The world's tallest tower was supposed to be finished in 2020, but there is no end in sight for the ambitious project. The Jeddah Tower project in Saudi Arabia came to a halt in 2018, less than a quarter of the way through construction. Thornton Tomasetti stated that he is a member of the engineering firm that provided structural design services for the former Kingdom Tower. Sin explained in 2020 that the project halted construction on the tower about two years ago. We are optimistic that construction will resume this year. There is no new completion date, and construction on the surrounding master plan is still ongoing. Jeddah Tower's Exterior Jeddah Tower's triangular footprint and sloped exterior are intended to reduce wind loads, its large surface area also makes it suitable for residential use. The overall design of the tower, which will be located near the Red Sea and the mouth of the Ober Creek, Sharm Obihur, where it widens as it meets the Red Sea, 
is intended to look like a desert plant shooting upwards as a symbol of Saudi Arabia's growth and future. Jeddah Towers Elevators The structure will have 59 elevators, five of which will be double-deckers, as well as 12 escalators. Kohn, a Finnish company, manufactures the elevators. It will also have the world's highest observation deck, to which high-speed elevators will travel at up to 36 km per hour in both directions. Jeddah Towers Internal Systems Environmental Systems Design Incorporated, based in Chicago, will provide mechanical, plumbing, electrical, and fire protection engineering, as well as teledata, audio-slash-visual, security, and acoustics. Langan International will be in charge of geotechnical engineering as well as some ground-level site work such as transportation engineering and parking, including the design of the proposed 3,000 to 4,700 car underground parking garage that will be located near, but not beneath, the tower to prevent terrorism. Langan International also designed the tower's foundation, which must be able to support the tower despite subsurface conditions such as soft rock and permeable coral, which may cause the piles to settle. Challenges along the way. To construct such a tall structure, a few challenges and adjustments must be made along the way. Vertical transportation limitations with elevators that can go so high, building movements caused by wind, and super column settling are all examples of sustainability issues. In addition, for very tall buildings, a large core size is required to support the structure as well as house the large number of elevators required. As a result, the core size consumes a significant amount of space on the lower and middle floors. The Jeddah Tower aims to address these concerns with its smooth, sloped exterior design, which provides better aerodynamic performance than step designs like the Burj Khalifa, allowing it to have a more conservative core overall. Economic Viability Aside from its primary functions, the building is planned to include a large number of retail shops, as well as a wide range of entertainment options, luxurious and more affordable apartments, and other amenities, evoking the concept of a vertical city. It will serve as the focal point of the Jeddah economic city. The developer's intention and theory is that all of the attention that the Jeddah Tower is receiving as the tallest building in the world, along with large developments, will help to grow the country's economy. The Jeddah Tower will undoubtedly change the economy of both Jeddah and Saudi Arabia, attracting visitors from all over the world to see the world's tallest building. Whether you stay in one of the Four Seasons fancy hotel rooms or go up to the observation deck, it is unquestionably a must-see in the city. With that being said, here we come to the end of our video. I hope you like this video. If so then, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So you never miss any video. See you in the next video. Till then take care. Thanks for watching.